hi family welcome back to the channel thank you so much for coming back in today's video i will be showing you exactly how i do my eyebrows to go from this to this so if you want to see how i created my eyebrows from no eyebrows whatsoever then please stay tuned for the video Okay, family, let's get right into the video. I told you guys in my previous video that I do have some eyebrows, but I don't like the way they grow in. So there's nothing there. And then there's a lot of eyebrows here and it goes up and then it comes all the way down. And I don't like the way how that looks. So I normally shave this part off and then draw it in myself. So I'm actually gonna be doing that today. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I use for my eyebrows. So first thing first, I'm gonna show you the eyebrow pomade that I use. And it is the Brow Dip Pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hill. And this is what it looks like. And this color is chocolate, and I'm gonna show you the inside of it. That's what it looks like. I use it all the time, and that's why it looks like that. And then for the brush, I'm gonna be using this angled brush. It has a little angle from this side, so it's long from this side and shorter on this side. And then on this side of it, it has a little brush, so you can brush out your eyebrows. This is also by Anastasia Beverly Hill, but you don't necessarily have to use this because this is kind of pricey. You can get something similar from Walmart or the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store or any other drugstore. The next thing I'm going to be using is my MAC Concealer, and this is the Studio Finish Concealer, and it's NC45, and this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you the inside of it as well. So this is NC45. It is a shade lighter than my actual color. You want it to be lighter than your color so it can really define your eyebrows. So the third most important thing on the list is this brush right here. It's also kind of like an angled brush. This is what I use to apply the concealer. The last two things on the list are these fluffy brush and this powder. This powder is by Laura Mercier. So I'm gonna use the brush and the powder after I apply my eyebrows, and that is just to set the areas where I applied the concealer. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So first thing first, I'm gonna use my brush to comb out my eyebrows. Okay, so now that I did that, I'm gonna use this shaving stick or knife. I'm not sure what these are called, but these you can find at almost every beauty supply store. You can also find it at Sally's, Walmart, drugstore, anywhere. So these are just to shave little hairs on your face. So I'm gonna use that to shape up my eyebrows and then I'm gonna draw it in. So what I like to do is I like to pull it up like that, brush it out a bit more, and then start to shave. Some people like to tweeze their eyebrows. I don't. I find this easier. And it's also easier for your eyebrows to grow back if that's what you want. So see the difference? See how there's a lot there, but it's not really doing anything. But now this is a bit cleaner and I can, um, you know, do what I want with it. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So up next, we're gonna be using the eyebrow pomade and our angled brush. So what I like to do is I like to dip it in here, not too deep, just lightly. And then I like to start from the middle here and go upwards. You wanna be very light with this because you don't want any harsh black lines. You also wanna be very light when you do this part this middle part, just because it doesn't look natural when it's super dark. Okay, so see how it barely looks like I did anything there? That's exactly how you want that middle part to look. And then I'm gonna go back in very lightly and then start to draw a line from here all the way here. You also wanna be very light with your line. And guys, there's a lot of eyebrows tutorials out there. There's no right or wrong one. It is just an individual um, preference of how people like to draw their eyebrows. So you can watch as many videos as you want and just choose the one that um, seems easier for you to understand or to mimic. Okay, so I have the line there. 
And then now I'm gonna create the arch. And the key to this is you want to look straight forward and then look at your pupil. Your arc should be at the end of your pupil. So this arc, the high point of your eyebrows, should be at the end of your pupil. So go up. Go upwards. And then once you have it high enough, start to bring it back down. And this part, you want to make a little darker than this part. So see how my face already looks brighter and it has like a lift to it? That is the reason why I like to have an arc or arch up there. Just because it just brightens up your face and gives your face a whole new look. So after you do that, then you want to comb it out again. So now we're going to move on to defining it with our concealer. So I have my MAC concealer here. I have my brush. I'm gonna lightly rub the brush against the concealer on both sides, like so, and then trace the line that I drew before. You also wanna do this very lightly, because if you do it lightly, if you make a mistake, you can always correct it. But if you're too heavy handed, you can mess it up and you have to start all over again. So see how I have a nice line underneath? Then you want to use your concealer to conceal the rest of your under eye, like so, and then clean that area. That is the reason it's important to use a shade that is slightly lighter than your actual shade because it just makes your um, eyebrows pop a little better. So I'm just using the concealer to conceal the rest of my eyes so it doesn't look like I have a white line right underneath my eyebrows and the rest of my face doesn't match it. Okay, so see how that looks clean? So we went from this to this. So what you want to do next is to use a concealer that actually matches your skin tone. So this concealer is actually my exact skin tone. So this is the lighter one and this is the one that matches my skin tone. Can you guys see the difference? So the lighter one is NC45 and the darker one is NW45. So what I'm going to do with the darker one is I'm going to take my same brush, take the darker one, dab it in like so, and then go over top of my eyebrow. Again, be very light and very careful with this. Because the worst part about doing this is messing up your eyebrows and having to start all over again. I normally just rub it off and start all over, but it's annoying, especially when you're in a rush to go somewhere. You have to sit there and do the whole thing again. So once you draw the line again, then you want to go back and blend it. Blend it so it matches the rest of your forehead. The worst part about doing your makeup or your eyebrows is having a harsh line where everybody can see that you have concealer there. See how that's blended very well? There's no harsh lines anywhere. Doesn't look like I have the white concealer line underneath my eyebrows. See the difference? We went from this to this. So last but not least, you wanna take your brush and your powder. You just wanna dab your brush into your powder, lift your eyebrows like that, and then brush it. The reason I do that is because this Concealer has like an oil base and it looks oily or greasy when you're done. So the powder takes care of that. You want to be careful also when you do this. Make sure when you apply your powder to your brush, make sure to tap it like that. Just so you're not um, putting a lot of powder in your brow that you've already worked so hard for. And you can do the entire eyelid like so. And voila, there we go. So there's our eyebrow. We went from this to this, this to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera so you guys can see as well. Okay guys, this is my eyebrows. It starts out a little bit lighter on this side and then it's darker on this side. That is just how I prefer my eyebrows to be. As you can see, it's a little skinny as well. It's not too big, it's not too over the top. And also the arch is not super deep to where it looks fake so that is how i create my eyebrows y'all thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this go ahead and let me know in the comments down below and also if you haven't already joined the family please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video from me again thank you guys again so much for your love and support and i'll see you guys in my next one
Thank you.